Hello everybody. In today's video, I am using a Ranger keyboard and a laptop. My goal is make combination of the sounds from a Ranger keyboard and some virtual instruments to get better sound, better performing. For example, if I have a Ranger keyboard and I'm not satisfied with drums from that Ranger keyboards because maybe they are muddy or samples, they don't come out on my way that I want to I hear them. So in, the, in this case, I want to use virtual instrument and I want to make combination of the hardware and software and to get better result. So let us see what I did today. I took Novation 61 to control SD90. On SD90, I'm using all styles where not involved uh, audio drums, just the rest of the styles without audio drums. And they are going to play all sounds I'm using from Catron SD90. But drums, volume for the, for the drums is down. So I don't want to use drums from SD90. Now I'm using those drums from where? I'm using drums from SSD sampler, virtual instruments that I like very much. I like that sound. So that is my virtual instrument that I'm using. That virtual instrument cannot be in standalone mode like, like many of uh, virtual instruments that you can use in standalone mode, like Easy Drummer, for example, uh, Addictive Drums, or uh, some contact, uh, for example, Studio Drummer. This instrument you can use only through the software. You can use through Cubase, you can use through uh, Pro Tools, but if you are using that through Cubase and Pro Tools, and if you want to use some additional plugins to shape sound of this instrument, then you will get a lot of latency. You will not be able to use it in live performing. But my goal is to use it in live performing. Thanks to Gig Performer, performer I can use it in live performing. I did some wiring here. I will explain you what I did here and how I'm using this combination in live performing. And you will hear that sound and you will see how, uh, which result I got from that. So I have audio apogee uh, ensemble. Actually, I have a symphony, apogee symphony desktop. And from audio card on input five and six, everything, every instrument I'm sending through this output five and six through L2 limiter from FAB filter, where I want to control output of my signal, general output of my signal, and then everything goes to Apogee, and from Apogee with cables to PA system. MIDI is connected through Motu, US, uh, to Motu MIDI interface. But for Catron, I don't need MIDI interface. Catron has it, its own MIDI interface. I could use just USB connection and through USB MIDI interface, I can connect everything through laptop. In my case, I am just using Motu. It doesn't matter what you are using. It matters if it works. Now from this MIDI interface, I am going MIDI output to this virtual instrument and audio from virtual instrument, audio output goes to the mixer, but I separated snare from rest of the uh, drum kit. Just to show you, if you want to use that option to separate snare or any another element, you can do that as well. I just did it with snare to show you how it works. So everything but snare is going through this mixer, through L2 and out to my car. So let me play some drums and you can that you can hear them, how it works. Now we are playing patterns from Catron SD90. They are going here and you can hear those drums. So that is the sound. You can basically see how uh, uh, with your eyes some moments on this picture and actually we are listening to the sound from SSD and that sound as I mentioned is going here all elements but snare is coming here 
and I have mixer to control them separately. Mute everything but snare. And now snare is going actually through age verb. And now I can control verb. Reverb. Without reverb, age reverb from waves. It is plugging. No latency. No anything. Just snare is coming here. Rest of the drums is here. A snare is here. And now I'm going to add some reverb on snare. And now we are listening. As you can see here, I'm just going to switch to the camera. Five. Look at I am playing everything from here. I'm playing from Catron. Now rest of the instruments I'm going to play from Catron. Catron, volume for Catron. Everything except drums. As you can see, let me go to this camera here again. Um, as you can see, my combination of the sounds and drums from virtual instrument works very well. So I'm able to use it for uh, live performing, my top plugins, whatever I want to make combination of the plugins or sounds, I can do whatever I want to do. Not only with those drums, I can make combination and save combination of my live performing where I can run microphone, another microphone, I can run my keyboards, my virtual instruments, and everything act as a mixer. I can mix it here on laptop. If you are using laptop for live performing, you can mix everything using your favorite plugins, favorite virtual instruments, and you can use your arranger keyboard and you can go on gig for live performing, connect to PA system and have total control with your favorite plugins and your hardware, software, virtual instruments, whatever you want to use for live performing. So that is that video. I think it is a very interesting video. You can explore, you can work with this if you want, if you found it interesting. You can put some comments, you can uh, ask me some questions. And that was everything for today. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in my next video.